Holy shit guys, Ruby Frank, you may know her as the YouTube channel 8 Passengers, a family oriented channel where she basically vlogged of her family events, things like that. She's been sentenced for up to 60 goddamn years for aggravated child abuse. Now this is crazy, she's basically pleaded guilty to four felony counts aggravated child abuse. She was first arrested on these charges in August, the same year after her 12 year old son escaped her home. She basically became Came under, came under under the magnifying glass, shall we say, when she was punishing her kids by taking away his bedroom for seven months. She is now facing prison time for this sort of stuff. She obviously went on to say that this is right and she deserved it. She's trying to play the victim card and say, oh, I'm, I'm better, I've changed. No, bitch, you got what you deserved. So they had six children and wow, imagine that in today's world. So she's been under um, scrutiny for about three, four years. It first came out in 2020, forcing her to sleep on a beanbag taking away her son's bedroom for six months and forced him to sleep on a beanbag bro that's horrible a social media influencer who preached tough love parenting with harsh punishment was handed some harsh punishment of her own today former mom influencer ruby frankie was sentenced to four to 60 years in a utah prison four to 60 years in prison that's just nuts how can you well she might be do four or she might do 60. you know who the fuck who comes up with these numbers do they just play, roll a couple of dice and see what numbers are drawn do they just ask the Ouija board, like what, what's going on over there? You know, she's been found guilty of malnourishment of kids, treating them horribly and basically manipulating and abusing them for money. She filmed all this on YouTube, she probably got millions of views, I never actually heard of her until it all came out that she was a bit of a C-U-N-T and now she's been arrested, found guilty and she might have four years. Her business partner Jody Hildebrand will serve the same sentence. She committed horrible acts of child abuse. Miss Frank tells her children, ages nine, and 11 in a concentration camp like setting. The children were regularly denied food, water, beds to sleep in, and virtually all forms of entertainment. So she basically forced these kids to sit and do nothing with their lives, took his bedroom away, like they said, couldn't have access to the internet or, you know, toys, general things that most kids these days growing up are entitled to or at least deserve, in my opinion. You know, kids have the blessing today of being in a very, you know, inverted commas, safe world to compare to, compared to what it was, you know, 50, 60, 70 years ago. Very safe in terms of what the kids can do. I know, obviously, in the internet's a dangerous game. Let's, you know, I'm not saying it's not. However, looking after kids could not be easier there's so much service there's so much support obviously it's not cheap to look after kids so that might be a problem but she's a youtuber she probably made millions filming and creating these sort of like vlog and family styled content that's what i thought it was and it turns out she's basically hitler with blonde hair 42 year old frankie a mother of six broke down as she spoke about her children in court i would do anything in this world for you i took from her all that was soft and safe and good I took for you your mother. How terrifying this must have been for you. She rose to fame with her YouTube channel, Eight Passengers, with two million followers. She and Hildebrand were notorious for their tough discipline. Abby, we took the phone away from Abby um, November. in November. And, I and you may you may never get the phone back. I mean, that's just mental, isn't it? To you know, this sort of stuff. Punishment, I think, is important for children. They need to learn what is right and wrong. But why film it? You've got to be some psychopath. You've got to be an absolute nutter to film it, put it on the internet for people to see. You know what I mean? This is a private matter. Family, what happened internally is between you guys. It shouldn't be exposed and talked about on the internet. This woman clearly did all this to just milk the shit out of her kids. Horrible choice of words, but let me finish. To get as much cash as money as she could. This is all this is about. Two million followers. You know what I mean? She's going to have a lot of wah 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 winger. She's going to have a lot of money. Money, money, money. She does not care about these children. If I was her kids and that she, my mother ever did all this shit to me, I'd be absolutely horrified. You know, four years time she might be out. Fuck that, bro. Stay in there for the, until I die. I don't never want to see this bitch again. But strict mom. She was actually subjecting her kids to horrific abuse, even tying them up for long periods. She was exposed when her 12-year-old son ran to a neighbor for help. 
Can you just repeat that? That's incredible. So her 12 year old son actually ran away trying to find help because her mother was that much of a psychopath. He didn't feel confident going to anyone else. He had to run to a neighbor because their mother had been malnourishing them, not feeding them, no water, not providing them with entertainment or something to do. You know, I'm not saying they need electronics, but give them something to draw in. You've got money though, so money is an excuse. You have completely, absolutely used these kids to become this sort of, oh, tough love loving person, this tough loving woman on the internet who, for all choice of words basically, didn't give a shit about them and only wanted to create this sort of narrative about, yeah, p kids need tough love. He's not had his phone for seven months. Like, fuck you, bro. That's pathetic. They need their phone. What about friends? What about other family members who want to speak to them? How can you not have a phone? It's sad, but we all need phones these days to communicate. He's emaciated. He's got tape around his legs. He's hungry and he's thirsty. He's obviously covered in wounds. Can you believe that? Tape around his legs, hungry, thirsty, and covered in wounds. So here's a picture of the family. There's plenty of them, hence why it's called eight, uh, what was it called? Eight, nay, uh, fuck, what are they called? Oh, I can't find what they called. But there was eight of them for obvious reasons. These two women, descendants of Hitler, apparently. Eight passengers, that's it. Basically filmed and documented their life, vlogging all these family trips that they went on, pretending that she was this firm, but fair, inverted commas, woman, raising a family in the modern day. Who knows what the fucking dad was doing in all this, but Jesus Christ. All these poor kids malnourished, not looked after properly, and all because this woman wanted to make content and pretend she was this order and respect demanding woman. The fact that these kids had to run away it proves how long this sort of stuff had been going on she said she used to come through the hierarchies point out other disturbing controversies holding they threatened to chop the head off stuffed toyed animals and cancelled christmas as punishment you know what i mean that's a joke that you say you might say well santa claus isn't coming then he's not going to bring you any toys to try and get your six-year-old into action you know what i mean you don't film it and then put it on the internet this is an absolute horror story this is exactly the problem with the internet and youtube tiktok people are starting to get this power this fame all this money and it's starting to go to their heads it's starting to sort of turn them a little crazy look at here so they were subject to beatings kicking neglection of food and forcing them to work outdoors in the summer with no sunscreen resulting in serious sunburns unsurprisingly the sun will kill you ladies and gentlemen if you did not know this frank told her children that they were evil and possessed and that they needed to repent i mean this is just crazy more and more you read about the more absolute nuts it gets. This woman right here is the epitome of evil. People like this, I, I despise. And the fact she could be out in four years is disgusting. She's got a lot of cash. She has good lawyers. It's very much a possibility. She's neglected, beaten, hurt, forced these kids to do things they probably didn't. I reckon there's things we don't even know about. And she's finally been caught and, you know, potential justice. It's potential. Four to 60 years. How do you do that? You know what I mean? What would you rather have? Four pounds or 60 pounds? Four pounds is like, well, I don't really care. You know what I mean? 60 quid? All right, now I'm listening. You know what I mean? There's a fight. There's a big difference here. And I hope she gets what she deserves. Where's the dad in all this? Who bloody knows? But this woman created a YouTube channel, exploited their children, mugged them off, basically, of their childhood, ruined their childhood, all for the entertainment of others. If you watch this content, I want you to comment as to why. What did you find enjoyable about this? Two million followers? Is it because it was funny? Laughing at these kids who were beaten and, you know, malnourished and mis and abused? Or was it because you were learning how to look after your kids? Because if you're learning how to look after your your fucking kids and Jesus Christ and maybe get a few books from the library out on parenting 101 because this is not it this is exactly how you get a bullet in the brain especially in America you know what I mean what about if one of these kids lost it a little found dad's gun or bought a gun and shot him shot her that's his life ruined the whole family's ruined it's lucky that this boy escaped when he did otherwise things could have been even worse imagine if they were even worse yeah look that's it I'll leave a few articles look into her eyes this is the eyes of evil someone who cannot be trusted and should not be allowed to see the the sky again in my opinion anyway look dark topic today serious topic look after yourselves out there and uh yeah hope you enjoyed the content and uh i'll see you guys soon